So now moving on to the next important reflex, which is known as the plantar reflex. For eliciting the plantar reflex, you have to position the patient like this. You have to take a sharp object. You can use the back of an examination hammer. And you have to start from the outer aspect of the foot and move like this. So this is the normal response that you see. So in a patient who is normal, there is inversion of the foot, dorsiflexion and flexion of the toes. So this is the normal response. But if there is a patient with upper motor neuron lesion like cervical myelopathy or dorsal compressive myelopathy, then there is a Babinski response. In Babinski response, there is an extension of the great toe, fanning out of the other toes and dorsiflexion. Sometimes what happens if the Babinski response is too exaggerated, then there is slight uh, flexion of the knee also. Now, this Babinski response, this happens in response to the loss of inhibitory effect that is coming through the corticospinal tract. So, whenever there is a compression in cervical or say dorsal spine and there is a UMN lesion leading to corticospinal tract compression, then the ascending sensory fibers or the ascending sensory signals that are going up are not inhibited by the corticospinal tract. So, there is a spillover effect. There is a spillover to the surrounding nerves also basically to the L5 and the L4. So, see, because of that spillover effect, there is a dorsiflexion of the great toe, L5 response and also this movement and sometimes flexion of the knee also, which is the L4 effect. So, Babinski response is basically a spillover effect that happens because of the inhibitory response, because of the inhibition of corticospinal tracts. Now, the normal root value of this reflex is L5 and S1. Now, there are few variations of eliciting the plantar reflex like when we squeeze the tendoachillus, it is known as Schaeffer's sign. Similarly, when we squeeze the calf muscle and it elicits the response, it is known as the Gordon's reflex. Similarly, when we press hard over the anteromedial aspect of tibia and there is a response that is known as the Oppenheim sign. Thank you.